Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the channel. So, uh, normally on my channel, I do uh, portable refrigerators like we carry in the Jeep Gladiator uh, when we go off roading to keep stuff cold. And this new air had sent me a big one. It's like a 118 quart, a big, huge one, which I'd done a review on here a while back. Well, they wanted to send me this. Kind of not necessarily related to the channel, but it is because my channel is not just about the off road stuff, it's about pretty much everything, so I do reviews on it too. So New Air sent me this 6.7 cubic feet chest freezer, and I thought I'd do a review. We actually needed one, so the timing worked out perfect. So I'm gonna take this out of the box and set it up here and plug it in, and then we'll check it out, do a little review of it, and then we can actually put some stuff in it and see how much space there actually is when it's 6.7 cubic feet. So it should be a pretty nice one, and it's supposed to be black. So we'll get it out of the box and we'll just see what it is. So for sure it's definitely packed good. Means most likely it won't be dented up. And we can see the back of it here. I got it actually turned around wrong. So let me spin this thing around. So this thing is uh, it does have an energy guide on it. It says Canada, but uh, 244 kilowatt hour. Of course we got to peel off all these little things. I'll set it off here in the concrete, and then we'll check it out. Okay, so I got it plugged into the wall socket, 110 volt outlet right there. Got it set up here. It's already on. Uh, the temperature in it right now, because it's been out in the hot truck when it got shipped, is 79 degrees. So it's pretty cool to have this display to actually show you the temperature inside the box. Uh, usually, you don't have this on a freezer. You just kind of guess and put a thermometer or something inside so you can see but it does have that it does have a lock so you can lock this in case kids uh, get a hold of it they won't be changing this temperature up and down which you wouldn't want that it's easy to change the temperature on this thing just push the up and down we're on zero there's minus one let's see how far this thing will go down and just go back up so very easy to set the temperature on this thing really nice it's set to fahrenheit this is a quick freeze. And what this is, uh, when you get meat and things like that, some things is better off if you, when you put it in the freezer, you freeze it quickly. Uh, it's better for the meat and stuff to freeze it fast. So if you go ahead and put your meat and stuff in here, hit this fast freezing and it will freeze it fast. And then once it gets it froze, then you can actually make sure your temperature is where you want it and you're good to go on that. But you always want to, when you load it full of food, or if you add a lot of big stuff, especially like a turkey or something, if it's not froze or a big ham, then you want to do the fast freezing to freeze it as quickly as possible. So another cool thing it does have in case you need to wash it out and it will frost up after a while. I and mean, of course, like most of them will do, but when you wash it out, it has a nice drain plug here. So you can just drain the water out of it, put you a tray under here, catch the water. Okay. So it does have a nice handle here. Easy to open does have a nice LED light in here, which is cool. So you can actually see in here without having to turn the lights on. You can right here open this thing up and you can see in here. And then of course we have this basket, which is nice. So you can add things into this basket. Still, I haven't filled this stuff off yet. But nice aluminum inside. Of course, you can see this raised pot. This is gonna be where your compressor is. And then real deep right here, nice and wide. That's the drain hole. Uh, that goes to that plug outside and then right here we have the manual looks like and then of course this is the basket and in the basket you could actually set it anywhere you want and it removes real easy too and then just set wherever you want a person would be nice if you could get some more baskets like this and you could actually have more across the top here we got some baskets we're going to put on the inside down in here uh, to hold food in that way your food is not just piled in your deep freeze and every time you want something you got to dig for it Okay, so what we have here as far as adjusting the temperature is two different temperature ranges. And the first one, which is the lowest, is actually minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 7 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, of course, after you get to 7 degrees, it will go into the second range, which is actually 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So the cool part about this is because you can adjust it like so, we'll go back down here, see when we get to 7. Now, when we get up to past seven, it goes to 32, is you can actually set this thing if you don't need a freezer, and you can actually use this thing 
as a big refrigerator. So you can actually just put food in here and refrigerate it and not freeze it. So it's pretty cool that they have the two ranges that you not only have a freezer, you also have a refrigerator if that's what you want to use it for. We are actually going to use it for a freezer because we just have a ref refrigerator with a freezer built in and there's never enough space to hold nothing. So it's pretty, going to be pretty cool how the deep freeze here to use uh, to store lots of stuff in. And like I said, we're going to do it in baskets so we keep it nice and clean inside. Okay, and it does have some safety features listed here. Uh, it does say that when the compressor works continuously for 24 hours, it will stop and auto automatically for 20 minutes before restarting. And it will do that when you put this on the fast freezing, but it will restart. You just have to uh, push it. It's going to quick freeze for 24 hours, and then it's going to stop, and then it's going to come back on after 20 minutes automatically. And then it also have a safety feature in case you unplug this. It's not good to have even like power surge. If you have a power surge, power goes off and right back on, power's off, right back on, which is really bad on the compressors on these things. Well, this one has a safety feature that if the power happens to go off, if you unplug it or if the power happens to go off, then it will not restart for five minutes after it's been unplugged or the power comes back on. Uh, when the power comes back on, five minutes, it'll restart and go back to where it was. And that's a good, super good feature to save the compressor. Mostly, it's what we have here is not unplugging it, but we do have power surges here in southwest Missouri. So that's a good feature to have to save the compressor. So say we've just loaded this thing up with a lot of meat and we want to cool it fast. That's where we go into fast freezing mode. And what we do is we hold this down for three seconds. You see this little green light come on here, a little snowflake? That means we're in fast freezing mode. And what it's going to do, it's going to do the fast freezing mode for 24 hours or until the temperature drops to minus 18, whichever comes first. And then it's going to kick off the fast freezing mode and back onto normal cooling. So that's a really cool thing to have right there. We're actually going to try that because we're going to put some stuff in here and we do need to cool it quick. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and leave this thing on the fast freezing right now. And then after 24 hours, it'll kick back off, back to the regular freezing. And I'll get my temperature set to where I want it. Uh, the display may look kind of messed up on here. That's probably just the frame rate, but it's actually right. It says 61 right now, so the temperature is definitely dropping. Now it's at 60. I don't know if you can see that. The frame rates on these cameras actually mess up. They kind of make the displays look funny. But there is three digits here, and it says 60 degrees. And there's a small part there that says Fahrenheit. And you can see how it looks like it's pulsing on the video, but it's not actually pulsing here without looking through the camera. So I'm going to get my wife. We're going to load this thing up. I'll come back when we get some stuff put in it and work on finishing out the video. Pretty much a way to go by is a lot of stuff you don't want to freeze too long. So like TV dinners is three to four months. You should actually use them up by then. Fresh shrimp, scallops, crawfish, stuff like that is three to six months. Hamburger and stew meats, three to four months ground turkey, veal, pork, three to four months, pork chops, four to six months, steaks, six to 12 months, so they'll go quite a bit longer, and then like chicken or turkey, something big like that, one year. That's really a good time that you should go by as far as how long you should freeze it. Now, of course, this black paint, as you can see, uh, it's already getting a lot of fingerprints. That's just from me touching around here. So the black will uh, get fingerprints on it, but stainless does too, probably worse, so but it'd be easy to clean up, no problem with that. Uh, we do have the New Air logo here on the front, and I was going to mention, too, that this thing does have a nice magnetic gasket on it, a big wide gasket instead of just a small skinny one. This is a heavy gasket on here. I really like that. And it has really good, nice metal hinges, so it's built really solid, and the door will hold itself up, so whenever you open the door, you don't have to worry about it falling on your head because it does automatically hold itself up. So we'll shut this thing down. Let it cool down, have my wife go ahead and put some of her stuff in there, and then I'll come back and show you kind of after we got it loaded. But we probably won't have enough stuff actually right now to fill it up. But I shall be back. All right, guys, I am back. I have had this thing now running for a week after the uh, last part there where I just set it up. So we've been running this thing for a week. We put a few things in here. We don't have enough to fill this up. Uh, all we have was a freezer on our refrigerator, so we didn't have that much th stuff to fill this up. But We'll have to accumulate more to get in here to fill it up because there's a lot of room for the small size it is. So anyway, 
uh, and I have it set to zero on here. And on top here, I'll show you in a minute, but it does say zero. And this meter, I got hooked to it with the temperature probe. It usually says I've checked it every day and it'll say minus one like it does now or zero right in there. So it's actually pretty accurate because this, this is very accurate. And that thing to be zero, and I've actually never seen this off of zero. Once I set it to zero, it dropped down. When it got to zero, it's just stayed flat on zero. And the meter here will change from zero to minus one. And then, of course, that's 18 degrees Celsius. But super good. So I'm very pleased with this thing. Super quiet. You can't even hardly hear this thing run when it's running. And because the compressor is so good and it's insulated so good, it actually don't run that often. So it makes it really energy efficient. It, it will uh, come on when it does. I've, I think I caught it twice during the week when I think I heard it running. But otherwise, like right now, it's not running at all. So if you open it up for a little bit, it might kick on a run. But it's insulated so well, it don't run that often. Let's open this thing up and I'll show you kind of how, how I did and how we put things inside this. Okay, as you can see here on top, I was saying this is, I got it set to zero. And then over here, uh, this is my meter. And this thing is very accurate. It has a temperature probe you can plug into it. I just got it set to Celsius and Fahrenheit. And the way it shows on this one, it actually shows Celsius down here in the big numbers. And our Fahrenheit is right there. So you can see that we're at minus one and we're at 18 degrees Celsius. So that's very close to the zero I got to set on. And a lot of times this will say zero uh, during the week, but sometimes when I check it, it says minus one. It, I've never seen it other than minus one or zero. So very, very accurate. And we did use this quick freeze for the first night to drop it down, and it worked perfect. And then it shut off. We got it set to zero, went back to zero, and we're good to go. Let me open it up and show you what I did on the inside. So this is kind of my wife's idea. She uh, freezes a lot of things. Now that we got the freezer, didn't have much room in the refrigerator. So as you can see, these little totes here, and these are ones that she picked up from uh, Walmart. They're just little plastic totes. They fit actually from edge to edge in here. They're perfect. So you can see on top of where the compressor is, the stair step part, we have one sitting here with different meats. And I'm not sure what else she's got in the bottom. There's some like some pork down there. So there's sausage. So it looks like here, right here, she's got diced potatoes. And this is the ice that we bag up. This is that nugget ice that we use our uh, New Air nugget ice maker. So we can bag it up, keep lots of ice stored in here. We got some french fries in this bag. But different things, and you can see. So that thing will hold several of those baskets. We can put one here. We can stack, I believe, four tall right here and four here. So we can have eight of the baskets, one there, that's nine. And then we have this basket. If we wasn't using this, we could have 10 of those. So it works very good. I love the light. Come out at night when it's a little bit darker in the shop. Open this up. You can see in here real good. Super good. You can see the frost on here. So this thing cools super good. Now the temperature probably will warm up now because I had that open for that long while I was talking. And this compressor will kick in. But super cool. Super happy with this thing. I will, if there's ever a problem, I'll definitely tune back in with you guys but i'll mention it later in a video uh maybe a year down the road after i've had this thing and do a long-term review like i'm also going to do with their uh, air conditioner they sent me and the ice maker the nugget ice maker so new air very cool uh very cool little deep freeze thank you guys for watching click the thumbs up check out the link to below to new air where you can pick one of these up it's a good deal Catch you on the next one. Right on.